I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the importance of uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Whenever you want to do any trigonometric identity, sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 is the basic Pythagorean trigonometric identity which you should know and you should be a, an expert on use, using this particular identity. Let us try to prove this in this particular video. So we'll prove it and we'll use two methods, right? One method is using a right triangle. So I'll make one right triangle here and the other one I will prefer to use coordinate system. Since whenever we talk about sine theta and cosine theta, we're always referring to a point in a coordinate system which is kind of moving counterclockwise and we say this angle is the principal angle theta and we consider a point on this and say let point be x and y right so using these two basic concepts will actually prove the Pythagorean identity so we have taken up a right triangle here let us say the sides are a b and c right so this is right triangle and the angle here let it be theta right so in that case from Pythagorean theorem we know that a square plus b square is equals to c square right if I divide by c square, then what happens? See, a square plus b square equals to c square. I'm dividing each term by c square, right? So I'm dividing that by c square. So what we get here is a over c whole square plus b over c whole square equals to 1. Now what is a over c? a over c is cosine of theta. So that is cos theta, right? So cos theta square, we normally write like this, correct? Plus b over c is sine theta. So we get sine, we should write sine square theta equals to 1. Do you see? So that is the basic identity, which you may write like this or like this. It is one of the same thing, correct? Commutative law. So, so cos square theta equals to 1. So that is how we prove this identity. Now let me show you how to prove this identity by taking a point on a coordinate system. So if I have a point on a coordinate system like shown here, in that case, what I can do is, I can drop a perpendicular from this point on x-axis. So that's the perpendicular, right? So if I drop a perpendicular, in that case, uh, what is going to be my one side of this, this triangle? This is the right triangle, right? So this is x coordinate. So this point is x. So that much length is x for me. And the height here is y, correct? And we can say this is r, the radius, which is equal to square root of x square plus y square. Is it okay? So that becomes the hypotenuse for the given right triangle. And we are considering a coordinate system where x is a and y are the axis, that is the origin. So whenever you have an angle, this is angle in standard position, where the initial arm is along the x-axis and that's the terminal arm, right? Now let us try to prove Pythagorean identity here. How are we going to do it? Okay, so let's begin by the same concept and say, well, this time what we will do is, we will say, uh, what is uh, sine theta here? So let me write down what is sine theta in this. Sine theta is y over r, correct? Sine theta is y over r. And how about cosine theta? Cosine theta is x over r, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is r, correct? I hope you remember Sokatoa. So what I'm using here is Sokatoa, which is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent, correct? So, so we have sine theta as y over r, cos theta as x over r. So let me begin from the left side and that is how we do identities. For identities, most of the time we solve from one side which is more complicated. Here more complicated is the left side. So, so let's begin by the left side which is sine square theta plus cos square theta. So sine theta is y over r, so square will be y over r whole square, right? Plus cos theta is x over r, so it will be x over r whole square. So let's, so r square, r square is common, right? So we have y square plus x square and common r square in the denominator. Is that okay? 
Now what is y square plus x square? Well you can see here x square plus y square is r square. So the numerator will be r square, denominator is already r square. r square divided by r square is indeed 1, right? Which is the right side, which is the right side. So that is how we have to prove identity. Start from one side and prove it to be equal to the other side, which is right side. And we say, well, when left side is equal to right side, we have proved the identity, right? We have proved the identity. So that is the process which we are going to follow in the following example. So you've seen how we started with sine square theta plus cos square theta. Substitute y over r for sine theta. So sine square will be y square over r square, right? You could do like this also. Extend one more, one more statement here. So, okay. Now r square is common. x square plus y square is r square. They cancel out. Gives you 1. I hope this video helps you to understand how sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 itself can be proved as an identity. I hope that helps. Let's move on to the next example. Thank you.